What's going on YouTube? My name's Travis. Welcome to my new channel and our very first video. I love the outdoors, hiking, hunting, fishing, side-by-sides, really anything that offers a little bit of adventure in your life. My goal for this channel is to show you some cool projects that you can do at home yourself to get you off the couch and out the door. Today we're going to be working on this vintage paddle boat you see behind me. This is going to be a short series uh, following the restoration and uh, getting it back out on the water. This boat's been in my family for probably about 40 years. Uh, my grandpa owned it for years. Uh, my dad used it. Uh, I used it as a kid. It's a blast to get out on. It's a really cool design. It's a, a two-seat boat. Uh, one person sits in the front, the other person sits in the back. Uh, they have the uh, steering pedals. Uh, both of you uh, use your arms to power this boat. Uh, it uses a locomotion style uh, system to turn a big paddle wheel at the back. The boat rides on two pontoons. Uh, with the shallow draft of the pontoons, uh, you can get into some fairly shallow water. Uh, plus, with the large paddle wheel at the back, you can get going pretty quick in this thing. It's not like those uh, little paddle boats that you see out on uh, your local pond that uh, uses the kind of the bicycle system to get around. About 15 years ago, my dad and grandpa uh, took this thing apart. One of the pontoons was leaking a bit, it was listing to the side, and there was a little bit of rot here and there, so they took it apart with the idea that they would restore it, but uh, unfortunately, the time never came. The boat sat in my grandpa's boathouse for the past 15 years, and unfortunately he had to sell his place last year. I wanted to save the boat, fix it up, get it back on the water so my family could uh, enjoy it again. My plan for this boat is to keep it as original as I possibly can. Uh, there's a little bit of rot in the floors and a couple other spots, so I'm going to have to replace that with, with some new wood, but uh, I'm hoping to save as much as I can to keep it as original as possible. This thing sat outside uh, for the first half of the winter, so I picked it up here, it's right around Christmas, and uh, had to drive it about four hours back on my trailer. Uh, so unfortunately it got uh, pretty dirty, so first order of business is uh, getting it cleaned up, and then we're just going to start stripping it down. She's full of leaves, so I'm going to get the shop back and get it cleaned up. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down. Like I said, it's covered in a bunch of road grime, so just trying to get it cleaned up as best I can so we can kind of assess what we have to do on this boat. Now that I've got this thing mostly cleaned up, the next thing I'm going to do is take a couple photos. It's always a good idea to take some photos before you start pulling anything apart, uh, simply because if you can't figure out how it goes back together, you're going to regret it uh, down the road. So a couple weeks from now when you're putting everything back together, you can go back and look and see where every piece goes. There's a cotter pin at the back of this bolt I gotta get out before I can undo the bolt. There we go. Try not to drop the stuff into the bolt holes on the pontoon traps. Try to take everything really slow because if I break any parts, I'm not going to be able to find them. First broken bolt. Looks like all the fittings on this boat are actually made of brass, so they're super soft, so they're a little seized on there, so probably going to twist off a couple more of these, have to get uh, some sort of replacement before uh, we put it all back together. Last night I was able to get the uh, drive system off the boat. 
overall, actually everything's coming apart uh, easier than I thought. Uh, all the hardware is brass, so uh, nothing's seized or anything. The only uh, trouble I've run into is a couple of them are a little soft and I twisted the heads off uh, two bolts, so I'll have to find some new ones for that. But uh, overall, it's coming apart pretty good. The next order of business is to get the paddle wheel off this and then uh, disassembly should be uh, mostly complete. From there, I gotta just start uh, pulling stuff apart and seeing what's rotten and what we need to replace and then head off and get some wood. So this crank looks like it's uh, almost pressure fitted on, but uh, there's a bit of a pin here. So I'm gonna try and tap that out with a uh, punch and then uh, see if this comes off easy. So the drive assembly is being uh, a little difficult. So I got this puller here and I'm gonna see if I can get it uh, moving at all with this. It's, uh, it's really pushed on there. So just have to uh, get it off. Oh, there it goes. That's two. So overall this boat's actually in pretty good shape uh, considering its age. Uh, there's a couple rotten spots in it, uh, but it won't be too, too bad to fix. So looking at the, uh, the back floor here, this is the back seat. So the rudder push rods uh, sit through here. So the uh, underneath it's pretty much completely rotten out with this uh, everything's just falling apart so I have to rebuild this uh, box seat and uh, and figure it out from there probably one of the trickier parts is going to be replacing these uh, I don't know what you call them beams uh, they uh, stick out from the boat and this is what attaches to the pontoons uh, you can see up here a couple of them have rotted off and broken away, so we got to pull the whole floor out anyway, and then uh, we'll have to replace uh, at least two of these, and then we'll see kind of how the other ones are doing. But uh, what looks like the trickiest part about this is there's a bit of a notch here, so to uh, in order to have this uh, beam even with the uh, pontoon as well as the floor of the boat, uh, it's, there's a bit of a notch uh, cut out right around here, and uh, it runs the length or the width of the boat. So uh, at least we have a couple good ones. So we'll uh, pull one of those out, pattern it, and then uh, figure out how we can get a nice uh, straight cutout. Well, we've got the boat flipped on its side here. So I'm gonna just start taking all the uh, screws and uh, nails out here and then uh, get the floor off and then we can see uh, what we're working with here. I don't think all these screws on the bottom here were original. They're all uh, corroded and breaking off, so we're just gonna break them off and then get this uh, bottom board off here.
Well, now that I got the boat completely taken apart, I'm going to take some stock and see uh, what uh, wood I need to pick up at the store to uh, start replacing all the pieces. I was hoping that the front seat was going to be pretty decent, like it felt pretty uh, firm, but the whole bottom of it's all rotted out, so I'll have to take that out as well and uh, pattern that to uh, make uh, new supports for the bottom of the seat. Overall, the sides are pretty good, a uh, little bit of rot, but uh, I'm going to see if I can just uh, patch it as best I can. Like I said, I want to try and keep this thing as original as I possibly can. So, Thanks for joining me on this first video, uh, tearing this boat apart. Uh, next video, we're going to start uh, replacing the wood floor and uh, getting this thing put back together and uh, eventually get some paint. we still got to fix up the pontoons and uh, uh, fabricate a couple pieces, but uh, hoping to have this thing back on the water before summer. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or comment below with any questions. And uh, we'll hope to see you back here next time uh, when we start putting this thing back together.